The hero is someone who stands up to take action, to branch out, to do something new. So all learning happens outside of our comfort zone. All learning happens, our school is out here, is, is outside the unknown, outside of our sphere of experience. And so I think of adventure travel as a great way to, to learn more. You know, you, you learn by going where you know nothing. And so I promote people to volunteer, to go to places that they wouldn't normally go, and to learn through their own experience. And so we are also, as a volunteer, a bridge to these communities. A lot of people donate money, and they don't know where the money goes. They don't see where the money goes. It, there's some directors that take the money, and then they don't actually give it to the people who they're supposed to be serving. This has happened to me before as well, where I paid for beads that were made in the community, and then the director took the, the money and didn't give it to the ladies who actually made the beads in Gulu. Um, and that's happened to, before, where I give money for a sewing machine, and I don't get any report back, right? So as a, as a hero, or as a volunteer, we need to be accountable to the people who support us. And so we support people like Emmanuel, who has a project, or any one of you who have, you know, people that you're serving, the children or the community. And so, as the Bible says, the fruits of our labor is love. And so that represents the hearts. So those hearts are the fruit that we're creating. They could be children's faces, or they could be actual fruit. You know, it could be matoke that is actually grown by the school and then returns to support the community. Maybe supports the the uh, the, the widows or whatever. If we donate a sewing machine, then we can actually create hammocks like this that can fund your entire project. So this is. Uh, a little bag that the hammock fits in, and it's got the Action Hero logo on it as well. So that's a little pocket for your money or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this hammock is really easy to make, and all you do is you attach it between two trees. I'm going to just attach it right here. So it just sets up in, in seconds. Just a simple knot. Really secure. Now this can be used as a bed in a hospital or an orphanage or anywhere at all for a, a child that that uh, you know needs a, a just a warm place to sleep. So you just uh, throw this over your shoulder like that, put it on your butt, and you got a bed. <laughs> so you, oh, that is so comfortable. Huh? You gotta try it, huh? Do you wanna try it? Come on. <laughs> so forget your butt. What? Come on, Queen, let me kick your legs up. How is that? It's nice. It's nice? <laughs> so he's, he's done for the day. But having, having a hammock is actually good for education. Why, why would ha having a hammock be good for education? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious here, I'm serious, okay? What's the benefit of having a hammock? Why would you, why would you want to have hammocks at school other than, you know, just to relax in? It, it's a good place to read if you want to read a book. A lot of children just sitting at a desk, that's not very fun, right? But if you're laying down and you're relaxing, you know, you could spend hours just, you know, here reading your book. <laughs> also, let's say if a kid's not if a kid's not feeling well, <laughs> let them have rest. You know, like our bodies need rest, and you can't pay attention if a kid's like nodding off in class. Just send them to the hammock. Otherwise, they're going to be useless for the rest of the day. Give them a half hour nap and uh, and let them relax. Like this isn't a prison, right? We're not here to torture kids. We're here to, uh, to help them to grow and be healthy. And if the child isn't getting enough sleep, then they're not going to be healthy, period. So it can lead to other things. So uh, are you sold? <laughs> sold! So anyone else want to try that? So you can also put your bottle of water in here. You know, you want to go to bed and you want to have your bottle of water. Bam, right there, or anything else you need. 
the benefit is it keeps you up off the ground, so you're not going to be wet. If you have a tarp, you can put a rope from here to here, and then the tarp goes over top of you. So that's actually a waterproof bed that is uh, going to keep you uh, dry, and uh, you know that's beneficial. But also, you can have a bug net that goes over this whole thing right here, so it encapsulates you, and so the kids won't get malaria. So there's a lot of reasons why a hammock is a good idea, and so I came here to promote that, to, to give people the knowledge of how to make hammocks. So, uh, you know, as far as like the Widows Project or as a school, you could actually be creating that, these as an income generating um, opportunity as well. All right. So, do you want to, uh, do you want to introduce me? Yes. Do you want to introduce me? Uh, I brought you a vista. His name is called Mr. Corey. And uh, I just come to see you, how you are doing. Hopefully you won't disappoint me. Just welcome him with happiness, okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. He's coming from uh, Canada. How many of you know Canada? You know, have you, have you ever heard of Canada? I know yes. you don't, yes. I don't, I don't, you don't know the whatever, but you have ever heard of Canada, right? Yes. Okay? Yes. So he's coming from Canada and uh, you will be seeing him over and over. Okay? He'll be coming to visit you all the time. <laughs> you He's a man who has a heart for the orphans. Hello, Mr. Ike. He's a man who has a heart for the orphans. Whatever, for the orphans. And he's just willing to work with you. Okay? Do you love him? Yes. I'm going to say, I want him to come again. You all love him. Yes. Hey, you don't even know me yet. <laughs> <laughs> not true, not true. Maybe you just build a house somewhere. Uh, <laughs> right, maybe. So you can come each time you feel like you're coming. Okay. <laughs> so you can just... How's it feel, Ronaldi? Odeotia, Ronaldi. Odeotia. You see, we are there. The way we come. Nice. Only out here. What's the name of the gym? The kid says that uh, he wants to sleep here till morning. Yeah? <laughs> well, he could. So, again, like. This is, this is one of those income generating projects that are really easy to do, you know. All you need is the fabric and the rope, and, uh, and that's it, you know. Uh, what I would like to do is explain uh, the, uh, the Action Hero logo and what that means. And uh, I can just, I'll draw it on the chalkboard here. For them. The Action Hero logo, I can explain to the kids what that's all about. So if they want to sit down. Well, uh, welcome class. <laughs> this is uh, this is a symbol that I want to show you. Um, it's a tree, and that symbol is the the, uh, the Action Hero Network logo, and it says uh, Action Hero Network .net. And the symbol of a tree. I'll just draw a tree here, pretty simple. Down here are the roots. And then the branches. And then out here is all where the leaves and the fruit are located. And so our community is the grassroots down here. So all the people in our community are part of the, those grassroots. And then the hero is someone like Emmanuel who has a vision, has an idea, and he stands up to take action. So when you stand up, 
It means that you're sprouting up out of the ground to take action, to branch out, to do something new. And so that's what we want to encourage is we want to encourage you to, to, to have a, a vision of where you want to go and what you want to do with your life and to be fearless. Um, Emmanuel, do you want to explain that to them? Do you think they understand that? No. No. Go ahead. Why don't you translate into... Kakati, muza muza cha jagamba ye. Abadda agamba, ntinno. Muno muti, gwaba nyinyo de. Nti omuntu ye nayi nayi na bwatuka. Muliza. To muntu nayi na bwatuka. Bwabanga alina okolesewa. Ngai ne kidobe ke. Ye musajja abero muzi. Era yo musajja avayo, owo mchala avayo. Nada ko kole chintu echo cha mchala cha ule cha na okola. Kinga ku muntu obulaba. Ntinno. So, what, what we're looking to do is to support you as, as individuals so that you can grow to bear fruit and to be creative. And so that means that if you are given uh, knowledge and skills here, then you're going to be able to grow gardens, and you're going to be able to uh, be creative. Could be you could make hammocks or clothing or whatever it is that, that you want to make, and then you'll be able to support the community again instead of just um, you know take, taking care of yourself. Uh, really, be an ambassador for your community. Uh, you know, like Emmanuel was. He, we had lunch today and he was explaining that a lot of people, they just, they make money and then they stay in the city. But really think about supporting your community. That's what's really important.